Good evening, sir, and good evening, everyone. Today, I will be discussing about the asbestos toxic substances for construction and building trade. Chemical structure. Asbestos is a generic name for six different natural occurring fibrous minerals. A uh, fiber is defined as a particle that is more than 5 micrometers in length and having a length to width ratio of at least 3 by 1. Many Canadian regulations further that a fiber of asbestos must also be less than 3 micrometer. Based on their physical and chemical properties, there are two major groups of asbestos, serpentine and amphibole. Serpentine fiber are long, flexible, and curved. This fiber can be woven together. The main type of serpentine asbestos is chrysolite white asbestos, which is main type of asbestos used in manufacturing. Amphibole, amphibole fiber are straight and stiff. These fiber are generally brittle and rad or needle shape, which limits their com commercial usefulness. There are five types of amphibole asbestos including crocidolite, blue asbestos, amosite, brown asbestos, actinolite, antopilite, and trimolite. Exposure routes. Exposure to asbestos can occur when asbestos containing material, man-made or natural, is disturbed releasing asbestos fibers into the air. Asbestos that is embedded or contained in undisturbed solid material present in negligible risk of exposure. The primary route of asbestos entry into the body is inhalation of the air that contains asbestos fibers. Asbestos can also enter to the body via inhalation with dermal exposure Asbestos fibers may latch into the skin. Human exposure, inhalation, and ingestion are primary route of exposure to asbestos. Dermal contact is not considered a primary source, although it may lead to secondary exposure to fibers via ingestion or inhalation. The degree of penetration in the lungs is determined by the fibery diameter with thin fibers having a greatest potential deep for deep lung disposition. Exposure of the generation population. Inhalation of asbestos fibers from outdoor air and to a lesser degree in indoor air is the primary route of exposure for non-smoking general population. Exposure may al also occur by ingestion of drinking water which has been contaminated with asbestos through erosion, natural deposit, erosion of asbestos-containing waste site, corro corrosion of asbestos-containing cement pipes, or filtering through asbestos-containing filters. Family of asbestos workers may be exposed via contact with fibers carried home on, on hair or in clothing. Occupational exposure Asbestos has been in widespread commercial use for over 100 years. Globally, each year, an estimated 125 million people are occupationally exposed to asbestos. Exposure by inhalation and to a lesser extent ingestion occur in milling and mining of asbestos or mineral contaminated with asbestos. The manufacturing or use of product containing asbestos, construction, automotive industry, and asbestos abatement industry, including the transport and disposal of asbestos containing wastes. Effects of human and environment. When it comes to asbestos in the environment, people living near former asbestos mines and natural deposit of minerals are at increase of risk of exposure. Children face heightened risk of exposure because their lungs are still developing. Their young age creates ample time of asbestos fibers to damage their health. Asbestos-related health issue takes approximately 20 years to become detectable. 
Overall, due to low level of asbestos present in the air, water, and soil across the country, we are all exposed in our lifetimes. Most people don't typically get sick from their limited exposure, but globally, asbestos is estimated to cause more than 250 deaths a year. According to one study, for every 20 tons of asbestos mines and juice, one person dies somewhere in the world. Pathway to disease. The casual association between asbestos exposure, non-malignant and malignant diseases of the lungs and mesothelial lining is well established and supported by epidemiologic animal, animal and mechanistic tex, toxicologic studies. The biologic Mechanisms responsible for asbestos-related diseases are complex and reflect a chronic multi-step process involving interaction between genetic predisposition and possibly other exposure, including exposure to viruses. Asbestos and lung disease. A number one, inhaling the fibers, needle-like asbestos fibers can travel deep into the narrow branches and bronchial of the lungs before sticking. Number two, asbestosis, accumulation of fibers causes inflammation and scarring of the airway the, that leads to chronic coughing and chest pain symptoms of asbestos. Mesothelioma, the floral lining becomes inflamed and plaque build up. Strict Restricting breathing, the condition may progress to mesothelia cancer and of the floral lining.